Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be covering the pickup shoe install and pickup spring install on the AFX Mega G Plus. Check it out. All right, everybody, we are going to do a pickup shoe removal and install, and uh, we'll also take care of the springs while we're at it. So we got this amazing uh, Mega G Plus here, really cool paint job on this one. And we got some of our pickup shoes and pickup springs. So these are the silver pickup shoes. You might have the gold ones, you might have the natural ones, but either way, it's gonna be the same process. So we wanna remove the body very carefully not to mess anything up we'll put that off to the side over here and then we have the stock pickup shoes and they literally can just pop right off you just pull this tab forward and unhinge it from the hanger and the springs i like to use tweezers to pull the springs out and a lot of times when you're doing this you've crashed the shoes gone and the spring has definitely disappeared so now we will install the viper springs that's pretty straightforward i like using tweezers just because my fingers are fat and i can't see very well with using my fingers down in there then um, so now we want to install the pickup shoe here so this part can be a little bit tricky but i like to go in and hinge it and while I'm holding pressure here I pull the shoe forward and snap it over that and now your shoe is on we will repeat that whoops on the other side you really 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 want to be careful not to bend the shoes um, you really want them to go on as naturally as possible if they do get bent uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to bend them back straight. But um, the next step that you could do here is I usually will put the car on a piece of track or a setup block and you can just go through and look at how they fit on there. And if you do need to make adjustments like this one here, I must have tweaked it a little bit. You can see how it's high on the front. So we will put pressure here pushing toward the car and then I will put pressure here pushing away from the car and that can help straighten that out so now you can see that shoe it still will pivot around the rail but it's not as high in the front and you can keep going through working them um, a lot of its tire size too these are pretty big tires so if the car was lower um, you would have a lot flatter shoe travel. So our shoes, we did design them for the 360 front end, um, which is why you might have to do a little bit of adjustment there, but you could definitely just put them right on the car and run them. So that's pretty much it. That car is ready for its body again, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video.